Well, hello, my dear creative, and welcome to day one of Boost Your Creativity Challenge. Uh, it's Anga Saragina here from schoolofsketching.com, and in this short tutorial, I'll share with you a very uh, simple and effective exercises to train your hand. So, welcome to Boost Your Creativity Challenge, and let's begin. So. All you'll need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and um, it, it would be great if you would have a marker nearby or something like that. I'll be using a red one so you can better see everything. So I want we to start with a very interesting exercise. Uh, let's first draw kind of an elongated rectangular form and we will actually fill it in with vertical lines. So. Uh, what I want you to do is to draw verticals with approximately the same one millimeter spacing in between them. So this exercise, it might look very simple, but it is incredibly effective. It is like a warm up uh, before uh, each, almost each and every sketch I make. So if you think about sketching as um, as an athlete, so each athlete uh, has to first warm up before he start uh, uh, he starts his uh, workout, right? Especially if uh, it's a, a like six abs pack workout, so the muscles will work really hard. So uh, to avoid injuries, we want to warm up first. The same concept is here first. Uh, we want to warm up to train our hand, so the lines in our drawing will look great, dynamic, full of energy. Now we will do the same, but now without the border. So we again we want to keep the spacing about one millimeter, but we now will not have this uh, box around. It is a little bit trickier, but let's make it. And let's make it a little bit faster this time. It's okay to be not perfect here. As you can see, the lines can go out of the border, but this is the purpose of this exercise, to train your hand for sketching, to enjoy the process of drawing. So let's do that. All right, uh, the third one, so it was number two. The third one will be a little bit tricky. We'll do the same sequence, but now we'll apply more pressure to the right and we will make the lines lighter uh, to the left. So let's do it. We keep the same spacing in between. So here I apply more pressure and gradually I will let the pressure off. All right, and let's make a little bit lighter here and a little bit lighter one more time. Yes, now we have nice little gradient. All right, and the second exercise, I call, uh, call it mirror image. So let's imagine that we have a sofa. So let's quickly draw a pretty simple so far. It can look like a box, very, very basic shape, like the easiest form you can ever imagine for the sofa. Now we will imagine that it is, here we have a beautiful lake or a mirror. And now we literally will mirror our drawing. So this is great for you, uh, for boosting your creativity for turning on your uh, right side of the brain, right? Uh, probably a lot of you know that right side of our brain is responsible for the creative part of our uh, actions, right? So the left side it's a lot more logical and the right side it is more creative. And we'll do the same, but the vertical will be um, but the line will be not horizontal, but vertical. So let's do this line. And I draw the same sofa here. You can't even imagine how 
great this exercise for your brain is especially if you do it first thing in the morning <laughs> uh, because you will actually uh, feel how your brain turns on uh, how uh, how your creative parts turns on just just do it just try to do it and i'm really excited to uh know how it went for you so please do let me know in the comments below this video how is it for you i'm really really excited to know because right now uh, i actually feel how my brain power turns on and now i want us to fill in this space so we can compare uh, how it looks so imagine that we have a box around our sofa and we simply fill it in with marker. That's why I told you at the very beginning that we will need a marker. So we can compare how precise we are in this exercise. So in art we call it a negative space, the one which is with red color the negative space and the white one is positive uh, in the next uh, video of my challenge boost your creativity challenge yeah uh, we will dive deeper into it so i fill in with color this one and we can simply compare this red space so for example i can see that here this line uh, could be a little bit up uh, higher as well as this one so it's okay to be not perfect but at the same time it's great to to uh, actually see how your brain works you can do the same for example uh, with your if you're left-handed xylem you can do the same exercise with your right hand or if you are right-handed you can try to do it with your left hand and see how it will be different for you so you see how long it took like seven minutes right now this video took me and already i feel so much more warmed up uh, to record another lesson for my students, for my video courses, for my uh, club members. So if you want to dive deeper into sketching, I welcome you to visit schoolofsketching.com and learn more about my online courses and uh, also about my online membership platform, the club. Thank you so much and I'll see you very soon.